guys welcome to today tonight stream let's go ahead play some uh more of the crew first things first i need to post down live on social media all right let's go ahead This week, the Motorfest presents a brand new theme. American racing. High speed and asphalt. Doesn't get more USA. Shoot for that number one spot. Wait, what was my... What would I do? Graduate and finish bronze. Oh, okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. Do I not own this vehicle? I own a Corvette. That's crazy. Dang, bro, it's like it's like all my acid. I need a job in this game. That's what I need. Oh, bet. Oh, do I have enough to get that car down? Okay, let's get this. Oh, I should have enough now. I should 100% have enough now. It went too far. All right, hold on. Wait, no, I can just drive. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just gonna drive there. Forget all that. Game knew how much I was struggling. They're all like, yeah, let's just give the the, the boy a hundred thousand dollars. Like, I I like I am broke in this game, sir. I need I need my money. I don't know why I pressed the map button. All I'm trying to do is just switch cars too. Why am I doing all this extra stuff? I could have just went press the button and switch to my Kona egg. Let me see some real quick. Okay, just had to make sure my audios were playing correctly. Dang. Okay, I'm okay. 
Wait. You're about to drive no less than six of them. Very exclusive, I know. That's one of the perks of being the greatest car culture festival in the world. <clears throat> As icing on the cake, we have a special guest for this tour. A famous dream car specialist. The social media celebrity is taken the internet by storm. She's the girl with the cars, supercar blondie. She's unquestionably the ex. Well, who is it? Like giving her Giving her that much of a hype up, it's like, who is it? I don't like when people, when they be doing stuff like that. Oh, it's this, and it's that, and this got a little hint of it. I'm like, man, just get to it. Got me all hyped up, and I'm not like, fam, watch it. it. I bet it's gonna be somebody I never heard of. Dang. I, I've reached the goal. That's all I was trying to do. Dang, I'm only gonna have eighty-four thousand dollars after this. Hey, what's up, Moon? Hold on for a second. Let me give it now. I got I gotta shout you out real quick. There we go. Shout out to Moon guys, a good friend of mine. Make sure y'all go shoot her a follow. Dang, I really don't know what color. Yeah, no problem, Moon. Gotta show love. Gotta show support. I guess I'll... Yeah, I'll go with that. Oh, I can switch. Shut up. OMG ads. Every time. Every time with these ads, bro. It's like, oh, let's wait till the conversation, you know, starts. And then that's when you're going to hit somebody with an ad. Had all that time to hit somebody with an ad. Oh, she's the social media influencer? I've never heard of her. I don't mean that in, dis in a disrespectful way, but I just... I'm joining a Motorfest adventure with one goal in mind. Gather the best concept cars ever made and put you in the driver's seat. Check this out, guys. Ready? For the first time, we are unleashing these dream cars and putting them to the test. Dang, what kind of car was that? Where the hood? Oh, these cars are sick. Yeah, they had the car, then it was like the, the one with the, yeah, the like, the things that raised up, and it's like, I don't know if that was in the back or the front of the car, but, dang, these cars look crazy.
I know them ads, they wait until like, that's when it's all like, oh, let's have it where they start a conversation and then hit somebody with an ad. Switch be acting weird sometimes with those ads. Where been so far? I've been chilling. I can't even complain. I'm like, for the most part, yeah, just relaxing. How about yourself? Are those the windows that look red like that? Oh, that looks scary. On to another activity. That is the windows that look red like that. Oh, that looks crazy. That's about to leave. Yeah. Relaxing. You know, stress. Stress. I can't say all the way stress free, but less stress than I was dealing with some years back. I'm not right myself too busy with my kids, but that's how it be. Yeah, that parent life. It seems fun, though. Like, that's one thing that I will say is, like, it, despite what people say about having kids, I'm like, I'm, I'm waiting for the day when I have kids. Like, I'm trying to have it where it's, like, T-Moss Boss and T-Moss Boss Jr. just playing this game or playing whatever game that comes out by that time just from years ago myself it's good it's a good feeling yeah a few years back i was like i just it was hard this is beautiful. so fun yeah it's like having kids i'm like i see sometimes parents they be out and about having fun with their kids i'm like that look fun Then them kids that be like off up in like Target or Walmart just having a full blown fit. And I'm like, dang, I don't know what, I don't know what happened there, but okay. Our first theme, concept cars and Lamborghini. Right. You can choose between the very rarely seen Lamborghini Egoista or the, I cannot believe this is real, Terzo Millennio. And just feel what it's like to set them free in this world. It's definitely going to be a part of their persona growing for sure. Oh, yeah. I feel like, yeah, that's just one thing to, like, just have it where, you know, you're... You kind of, like, you just you just have that, that time and moment. Like, you hear at times, though, some kids, they be, um... They don't have those moments. And especially in this generation where it's, like, you know, a lot of electronics exist... I'm like, that's one thing I can say that I enjoyed about my childhood growing up was like, you know, I didn't have electronics. I had games, but my parents, they played games too, so. Hey guys, it's Supercar Blondie back on the field where we're following one of the most promising drivers of the festival for some serious concept car action. Say hi to the driver, guys. So this is how Motorfest does things. Well, Discord. Ah, oh, dang. I don't have. I don't have a Discord uh, set up. I mean, I do, but I don't use it. Yeah. <laughs> I. People be all like, "Oh, do you use Discord?" I'm like, "Not really." I mean, I. I'm an old fashioned. I'm like, you can, you know, text me, freaking call me off of my phone or something. But I'm like, I'm not. I'm not a Discord kid. I try to be, but I just, I don't go on there enough. Even the team that I'm a part of, like the, the owner of that team, he even told me I need to be on Discord more. All right, as far as I know, this first route starts with a wide road with no sharp turns. So there's no problem going all out with that Lambo. But be careful, the road gets narrower just down the way. My question is with cars like this, it's like, I, because if I'm creating a car, I'm creating a car like that you can do like your everyday stuff. It's like, how do you take this to the grocery store? Like, you obviously show enough if you take it into like Target or something, but it's like, you can only literally like buy a bag worth of stuff or something that can fit in your pocket. This car ain't got no trunk, like. Yeah, it's like, it's just, it looked nice, though. I'll drive it in real life. It's just, sure. yeah, that's the thing. I can't even, I, I just came to the realization it's a one-seater, so it's like, I can't, 
Like, if I'm all, like, if I'm going out on a date, and then she's like, oh, can you come pick me up in your car? I'm like, how do you explain that? How do you explain, like, yeah, so I, I got a car, and only got one seat in it. Like, it, it's like, it's nice to show off, but at the same time, it's just an ex Yeah, it's like, you, you only just bring it out to show off. It, no, yeah, look, hold on. Let me switch to the um, interior camera. Look, it's only one seat. She gets it. That, but see, that's because I'm trying to turn, and then I'm about like, hey, can you, like, rearrange your body so I can, like, turn left? She talking about, I can't move. I'm like, well, that's what happens when you wear Tim's on a date. Like, you, you should have wore, like, some high heels or something. I'm like, just move, move. Oh, like, hold on. Let, 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 let's just stop the car. Let, let's, let's just stop the car. I got to get out and stretch. That's <laughs> like, that'd be a dis. It'll be funny, but it'll be a disaster. It like it's a nice car, but I'm like, dang, they should. I don't know, made it a little bit, you know, at least add a, a second seat in there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, hey, I'm like, I'm pulling. She's like, we're not. She's like, we're not at the restaurant yet. And I'm all like, no, but I, I got to stretch because I'm like, I'm about to get a Charlie horse and like in a few seconds, I'm like, no, nah, you need to get up because I can't, I can't do this for a long period of time. She all, she's like, so I'm like, okay, so how, how are we going to do this? Because she was like, what? no, I could just saw you. I'm like, no, because you, I'm like, your, your butt's a little bony. So I'm like, I, we going to, we going to have to, we going to have to compromise. We're going to have to do something. Yeah, I'm like, this car, it's, it's nice, you know, to own. Unless you like one of them car guys, but it's like you going out, you taking the missus out on the date. It's like, yeah, that's just that's a no can do. She's like, let's take the Lambo. I'm like, ah, right, we ain't taking that car. Remember how we first met? And I'm like, no, I, I ain't, I ain't doing that again. <laughs> we like, we ain't doing that again. I'm like, we ain't getting in there. I'll walk. I'm like, before I get in that car again. All them red lights. And then knowing it's going, you're going to have to be dealing with a lot of red lights and stuff. That's just, I'm like, then you just kind of just sitting there like, dang, man, will this light hurry up and change? Good choice. All right, that Get all the way to the restaurant. Restaurant's closed. And I'm like, right, like, she's like, well, I guess we're going to have to find. I'm like, no, we going home. And I'm like, we, we going home. We ain't doing this. We is not doing this. Does this car got two seats? A super capacitor? What is this? A, a DeLorean? Oh, this got two seats. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm trading. I'm trading in that other Lambo. We getting this one. The wheels light up like that, huh? Yeah, this this guy, this this the date car. <laughs> the other car, that's like that's just the, I drive the other one when I just need some time to my to myself. But this one, yeah, this is nice. I like this. I know, right? It's like it's just in that front part. It's like it's a glass. It's just like the whole, that's crazy. Hold on, let me see what it looks like from the interior. That look crazy. Yeah, it's definitely like some futuristic stuff. Hey, like, man, don't hit my car. 
Oh, this person's crazy. Nah, you definitely paying for that. That shit was like, can I come? I'm like, yeah. In the one seater, I'm like, no, you cannot. I just leave. I just like, yeah, I'm going I'm to go outside real quick. She hears a Lambo start. She's like, oh, let's go out for a drive. I'm like, nah, we can walk. Let's let's go for a walk. Let's let's kind of just enjoy the, the scenery and stuff. She's like, but no, you was getting ready to... No, I wasn't. I was just seeing if I had dropped something in here. I was like, I, I ain't, I ain't, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna drive away. Then you gotta like hear her with a distraction. Be like, did you hear that? No, nah, what was that? It sounded like it came from the, that, that part of the, the house region. And then you just gotta drive off. Millions of dollars? That's. I'll be so scared driving one of these cars in real life. Not so much as ass like fast, but just I don't want nobody to try to like do nothing to it. We're reaching the toughest part now. Lots of turns from here on. I can see like having a kid, then he or she becomes a teenager, and they're all like. It'd be their 16th birthday, and they're all like, oh, can I drive your Lambo? I'm like, you, we could go to Walmart, and I could get you a Razor scooter, but you, nah. We can, we can compromise. Uh, you can, you could be a passenger, but I'm like, hey, nah, because you crashed that. I'm, that's like, that's, that's some stuff that would make me cry. Kid crashed the car talking about like, oh, I just wanted to see how fast it went. I'm like, nah, I gotta put you in the full Nelson. I'm joking, I wouldn't put my kid in no full Nelson, but maybe an ankle lock. Maybe they have that car. Know that what they should be able to have that car, so they always Disney driver with no friends or yeah. No, I'm that yeah that other that other Lambo that yeah that's that's definitely I'll be that friend where they're all like oh let's take Tyler's car. I'm like oh I'm I'm bringing the Lambo. So y'all, y'all gonna have to bring your cars. Like, why you drive that Lambo everywhere? Cause it prevents people from being inside my car. Come on. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm like, you guys can walk beside it as I'm driving it, but we ain't no, ain't no, we all getting. In. Exactly. That's that's a perfect car for an introvert. Like when you don't like a whole lot of people inside your car, get that Lambo. Might cost you um half the uh you know money you make in your in a lifetime, but it's worth it. Yeah, there's really only like one seat. And even they look small from like who's that? And they even look small from like for my for my character. There is like no space in there. Nah, that wouldn't work. That would not work. Cause like how she would have to sit. If like if let's say if I was going on there, she would have to sit in my lap with her legs facing towards the windshield. And I'm like, and then she would have to turn. Nah, I'm like, we walking. She's like, but the restaurant's like five miles away. I'm like, fam, I was jogging five miles every day. We can walk. Call a Uber. But I'm like, we we ain't doing that. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, the windows don't roll down. I'm like, nah, we've been in there. Yeah, like we had to jog. I'm like, but no, nah, it's like, it don't even look like the windows got rolled down. We got to like pull the car over. I'm like, nah, I got to breathe for a second. Oh, open, open, pull that, pull that latch right there. Pull that lever. I'm like, cause right now all I'm sm uh, smelling, especially like, yeah, if we go on, I'm like, nah, just like all I'm smelling is hair and Victoria's Secret perfume. I'm like, no, I got to breathe. She's like, you're fine. Just stop worrying. I'm like, no, I, I, I have to breathe. I'm like, you got way too much going on. 
I'm smelling five different scents right now, and I'm like, I shouldn't even be doing all that. This is how fast I've been driving to that restaurant. I'm like, I've been driving fast just like this. She's like, why are you driving so fast? I'm like, because I, <laughs> my legs hurt. I'm getting a Charlie horse in both my legs. I'm smelling way, like way too many scents and perfumes. No, we got to hurry up and get to this restaurant. It'd be like every, like, vaccines. Nah, like, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Shout out to Stream Elements. Cause I'm like you, you just you just read everything on my mind. <laughs> Dang, they just crashed into that. Dream Bugatti. Ooh. Yeah, that's what we need. We need an SUV. What's up, guys? The show continues, and we're not slowing down. Another dream manufacturer has lent us two unbelievable concept cars. Elegant, impressive. So I get up out the car like all hunched over and stuff because I got to like maneuver my body in there. The one and only Bugatti La Voiture Noire. Which car are you going to pick? One of the toughest decisions for sure. This is Dream Cars Part 2. Choose, drive, and make a spy. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with that one. The Bugatti La Voiture Noir. Let me tell you more about this incredible car. It's a two, yes, it, it has to be a two seater. Dang, why the window's so dark? This one is yeah, this one is nice. It's just the, the windows is dark. I like the way it drives. Yeah, it, it seems like it's a lot better at handling. That's one thing I remember my dad telling me, because uh, my dad, he be watching a lot of different car shows. He was telling me that they be hand-building Bugattis. I'm like, I just, that's a lot. But I mean, it's good though, cause it's like versus like, uh, like having it where it's like some machine that does it, and at times, at times you be hearing like where cars they be getting like recalled cause of those machines and stuff. No, yeah, I was like, he told me about that, and I was like, that is insane. It's good though. I'm definitely a no. If I worked at Bugatti, I'm like, hey, look, whichever Bugatti I build, it's mine. Like, sir, it costs it's it's, it's going to cost you two point five million dollars. I'm like, I built the car. You gonna tell me I, I gotta pay for what I built? Nah, this an art project. I'm like, we, I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna build no whole car, and then I, I only get to keep it. You mean to tell me it's gonna be some random person they don't even take? Cause no, if I build the Bugatti and I, they give it to me, I'm driving that car everywhere. Even if I, even if I don't even have to like drive it out nowhere, I'm still gonna drive it everywhere I go. And I'm keeping it in the house. If I gotta like cut a hole in my house just to put this car in my living room, I'm like, so be it. But I can't have it outside. I don't want. It. I'll be. It'll be the car where I'm like, nah. It's like I'll I'll take it out, but I'll drive like mad slow everywhere. I'm like, I don't want to mess up the tires. In a car that could do like 260 miles per hour, but. Meanwhile, I'm on, like, in the middle of the freeway just doing two miles per hour. I'm like, nah, man. I built this. I don't want to mess it up. First person. Oh, yeah. I forgot to do that. Oh, it... it the windows. That's some crazy stuff. If it really looked like that, where the windows be like mad black, they would you look outside, then it's all clear. That's crazy. 
kind of optical illusion is that? Yeah, it's like it's Bugattis and Koenigseggs. Those are like the two, like the two cars where I'm if if I like make millions, those are the two cars I gotta I gotta pick up one day. I know, right? Oh dang, that boost is crazy. Dang, I should have boosted it a long time ago. That's gonna be me up out there. I know, right? It's funny how like back then, like years ago, you think like 2030, we're gonna be having flying cars and all that stuff. Only thing we were able to do is put AI technology inside a car, and now my car can have a conversation with me. Congratulations, driver. On to the next one. I know, right? No, cause yeah, it was it was funny though. I remember when there was like that guy started up that rumor talking about the world we're supposed to end uh in 2012. I was like, that was such a funny rumor. Made a whole movie about it. Should be up there. I know, right? We should have had flying cars years ago. They said, nah. We we just we gon we gonna build a uh, Uber and and we're gonna have it where you can uh get your food at your house instead of going out to the actual place. Like Coming out with Uber Eats, that's our future. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, you want you want to get some McDonald's? You ain't even gotta worry about that. Uber Eats. It's like, what about the flying cars we were promised back in like 1999? It's like we 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 ain't said nothing about no flying cars. Y'all were talking about flying cars. We were just trying to make the the world uh easier. Let's see what this car looked like. It was like we just gonna, you know, gonna give you a a, a iPhone with fi with 15 cameras on the back of it, and then that's that's all that y'all gonna get from us. <laughs> I say it. I was all like, if like, yeah, if I'm like one of those like government officials, and they were all like, weren't we promised flying cars? I'm like, I who made that promise? I ain't make no promise. I was like, you guys, you, you guys gonna get an electric vehicle and an iPhone with 15 cameras. Why so many cameras? Cause y'all be liking to take a lot of pictures. Exactly, exactly, exactly. It's like way this world set up. Let's see what this car looks like in the inside. Oh, this don't look bad. It kind of yeah, it does have like that like old uh. How the old, like the, I think it was the 2012 uh, Bugatti Veyron. That's what it kind of looked like. It's like, dang, man, like, cutting me off. Nah, I gotta go around this guy. I'm trying to think what other things that we believe in um, back like years ago, and it's like none of that's happened now. Because it was like, I think flying cars was just like, that was like the main thing that everybody wanted. And I'm like, I don't trust nobody flying a car. There's people that I know where I'm like, I would not want to see them flying no car. I'm like you guys where people can't even drive normal on regular streets. Now you now you're giving them a car with wings? Nah. I ain't trying to wake up next morning and I, all of a sudden a Honda Civic is just parked in my room. Person talking about like, yeah man, I just you know drinking and flying and that's how I ended up here. 
I was like, if a bird, my thing is, is this, if a bird can like crash in a person's window, I, I don't trust a, a person, a bird, a bird has been born to fly since birth. And you mean to tell me somebody, somebody that just started getting into flying, like, oh, I, I'm going to trust them, like fly, Uber fly? Nah, I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all. I'm like, you got the modern, modern people where it's like, we will slip and fall just on some old random stuff. I don't know how many times I ain't slipped and fell, and it's all like there wasn't even no reason to have a slip and fall. I'm like, now nah, you putting a flying car in my possession? Nah. That ain't count as a, I, I guess. I guess it ain't count as a drift. I don't think they count drifts in races. Never mind. For this Bugatti to come out before the other one, this one handles better. Uh, she said a Bugatti Veyron, what? Nah. I'm like, I'll go to a dealership. I'm like, I just, I want the red Bugatti with the golden rims. That would be messed up. It's like, go out and buy a car and you can't even pronounce the name of it. You got to like point at it. Like, oh, sir, what brings you in today? Oh, I wanted that Bugatti over there. Like, well, sir, this is a Bugatti dealership, so there's there's nothing but Bugattis here. Which which one in particular do you want? We could start off by the name. I was like, I think it's the Bugatti Veyron, um, well some other stuff. I was like, oh, we have multiple Bugatti Veyrons. Like, I uh, think it's red with golden rims. I was like, I can't uh, can't pronounce that name, so I'm just you know. But we can walk out there. I'll, I'll point it out. I forgot about the upgrades. I think I already got that one. That just looks so weird. Two white Dodge Chargers and then two station wagons. Nah. They having a meeting of some sorts.
time to move to the third and final part of our Dream Cars Tour. And we've got two great surprises coming straight from France. These are some of the most gorgeous and unconventional concept cars I have ever seen. There is no question about it. Are you ready? All right, we've got what I call the most beautiful car in the world, the Renault Trezor and the super fierce Citroen GT. No matter which one you choose first, you're in for some serious fun. This is French Dreams. Let's go. Hey, dang, man. Uh, dang. Oh, I think that was that car with the um the hood. Uh, yeah, yeah. I want I want to test out that one. Like the hood, it has like these like not rectangle. Um, thing. What's that shape called? I no. Freaking! I don't know my shapes no more, man. I gotta go back to school myself. But that's what the hood looks like. Oh, this car looked crazy. And our driver's done a killer job so far. Oh, this electric. How iconic supercar manufacturers can go beyond our wildest dreams with their designs. With concepts like Laboratoire Noir and Egoista. <clears throat> now, let's see what happens when we let the creative minds coming from more conventional manufacturers roam free. As you can see, the answer is nothing short of incredible. The difference here is even more obvious. As we all know, Renault and Citra are usually focused on delivering everyday practical cars, which these definitely aren't. Take a look at them. It's like we've jumped years into the future. Widest boulevards of Honolulu have been cleared just for the driver. What does it feel like from inside the car? They got the electric cars. They sound crazy in this game. It's cool though. Dang, that was it? They had me spend a million dollars on the car just to feel like I only did like three races. Like I drove the car to the destiny? That's crazy. That car came out in 2008? Huh. Intimidating, hey? Fair enough. It is a face-off after all. You're not going to be disappointed with the Citroen GT. Originally, this car was created for the video game industry, and <laughs> they designed this elongated tail simply to scare the pants off your competitors. I swear, it's true. Actually, Citroen wanted to. I don't think it'll do all that. I like. That's a strange-looking car. Like got like two back ends, but. Unfortunately, it never came to be. Now there's only one in the world and you get to drive it right now. Oh, these are cars that have never been even um created or like they never put in put them in development. Oh, that's crazy. Can't even hear this car. What 
Dang, this car is smooth. I'm surprised they like, oh, let's have a tornado happen in the middle of this race. Gonna have it where I raced in the middle of a tsunami, then some boats. I'm like, have it where I race through a, a tornado. Freaking, like, what are some other crazy natural disasters? Like, ma'am, I gotta slow down when I'm hitting a turn. I'm like, I'm not eight years old. I'm like, I, I know what brakes are. Not many turns in the upcoming stretch of road, driver. Go for it. Like, not that many turns. I'm like, been making nothing but turns. Time for our French sci fi jewel, starting with full power on this strip of Hawaiian freeway. The Citroën GT. Yeah, I like that car. That was nice. Wait, that wasn't it. That's crazy how people are doing uh Witch and Macaulay. Um, I didn't want to do that. The speed trap glitch. I ain't making money in this all like fam, that thing only paying out like seven hundred dollars. That ain't a lot. What is this car doing? Move out the way.
Dang, it's like I almost didn't complete that uh thing. Huh. There is one concept car that they had in Great Legends where I was like, that car is actually sick. Mess up on that one. You've seen your fair share of unbelievable. Somehow, some way, I still got it. I'm not sure you're ready for this. There it goes. Well, I tried. This car actually handles well on uh, off road. Can I go? Dang, that's what that car looked like. Oh, I remember this car. This is the car that be moving sideways. 
playlist at the same time. Your car and the final car to be introduced into the Dream Cars lineup is Mercedes That's how it looked. Vision I didn't, they changed it. Arrow. This is a beautiful, sleek, all electric car with room just for you. It has this intense paintwork that gives off the. Yeah, I think they might. No, this might be a different one. And when you step inside, it features a panoramic screen to help you navigate. A car that was made for this very race. So I'm not going to say anymore. You just need to jump in behind the wheel. Yeah, that car. Now that's different. Yourself. There was a Mercedes that they came out with called Vision. I think that's a separate two different cars. Another one of these one seaters. Are they um There's like an old car that that this kind of reminds me of. I look crazy. Is that my car making that noise? Oh, this car is about to blow up. It was silent before, and all those things making this weird rumbling noise. Oh, this car is crazy. It ain't even like shifting gears or anything. It's just, huh? That last car I drove was actually faster than this. Like, I actually prefer to drive that car than this. I mean, this is nice and all, but it just ain't fast enough. I feel like the Lambo that I have is faster than this. Then again, I did add mods to it, so never mind. Is it gonna erupt or something? Why she had to point that out? That volcano erupts. I'm like, nah, forget that. I'm busting a U-turn. I'm going home. Alright, what does our driver have to say about the silver arrow? It's alright. I, I don't know if they heard that, but yeah, it's alright. Look at this thing! Tell me this 
is not the most futuristic car you've ever seen, or better yet, driven. The Mercedes EQ Silver Arrow is a hundred percent. Did she say Mercedes? Tribute to the previous Silver Arrows, including the famous 1938 speed record breaker, the Mercedes Record Bargain. It's like, man, why is she saying it's Mercedes? It's say, not C. Maybe it's a tomato tomato thing, but I'm like, that's. Before I go, I'd love to explore that special Motorfest car meet and see some custom shows. That's something I always love to do when I get the opportunity. It's Mercedes. It's like gonna happen with people that's watching stream now or watching it later. It gets uploaded on YouTube. Ain't gonna happen when you confusing people. And they think they saying it wrong this this whole time. Mercedes. For a second, my character looked like my dad. I was about to say, I was like, whoa, wait a second. I was like, now how they do that? I was about to, I was like, fam, I'm like, why did it make it seem like it'd be the end of the thing and then it's like you still got more to do? You drove it in your final performance. You brought the best in it during a race that were... Oh, they're giving me that Mer the, 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 their Mercedes. The Mercedes EQ Silver Arrow. No Mercedes, Mercedes. So crazy. A playlist is available, driver. I did all of them already. I 
Oh, okay. I don't think I have enough to buy none of these cars. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll do it. Dang, man. If I probably didn't buy that Kona Seg, I probably still would have had some money, but... I met oh, I can buy I can buy one of these cars. Yeah, I definitely should uh work on those um challenges but i think i'm going to play a little bit of um which we call it um payday three squeeze in a game of that then depending on how i'm feeling try to squeeze in a quick level and uh which we call it cyberpunk. That was fun though. I just wish that game it had like more playlists to play. Like they should have just had to debut that game with like a hundred different playlists. Play some payday three. Game loading, now it's loading. Let's see, so I did that one, did that one. Let's do that. Played it on uh, TikTok earlier. How are you gonna sit here and say that it's all like found the lobby, but there ain't nobody in the game? Okay, let's just go and play the other. They um don't put me in no games with other people that I'm like forget it, bruh. It's like I ain't got time to be out here trying to figure out some stuff on why things ain't loading up. Hey, 
Why have you put me in games? It's all like, I swear, man. We ain't gonna lie. I know that whoever's like person gonna end up backing out. But they should definitely have it where it finds like lobbies with all people or people just able to join more. Because I know there has to be somebody out there that's playing this game middle of the night and they're wanting to um, join in on this game or on this uh, particular uh, mode or not mode but map. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and play uh, what you call it, um, Cyberpunk. Forget that. Thought I was gonna play Payday Three, but Payday Three got a lot of um, work that they need to uh, do. Where the developers behind it, at least. I did install that. I might end up playing Counter Strike at some point. I would have played Payday 3 too. It's like Payday worked perfectly fine earlier. That might be a thing though, where it's like you try playing games in the middle of the night and they're all like, oh nah, let's just have it where they don't work properly. Any other day of the week, game works perfectly fine. And for some reason it's like, nah, let's just not work. They changed this? Huh. I wonder if they did that because of the Phantom Liberty DLC. That said Wakanda, I was about to say, I was like, wait a minute, hold on, time out, what, what did I miss? Gigistrid, what is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. The heck is that? Oh, it's the boat. Too often. You alright, Goro? Yes, why the Southern Corsa? I'm just asking. Does everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I am... I am simply not used to such questions. People like me... I like this song, Either though. we are doing well, or we are in a grave. Any idea that what's going that? on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that what is he wearing? Is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies.
Yeah, let's just go ahead, skip that ride. Now arriving at Wakanda. It's like, all right, park the car, man. What you doing? I can't get out. Oh, there we go. What happened? What? Hey, honey. What the fuck? What are you doing here? Some more sunshine. Shh, shh. Don't want any drama. Now get loud. Get loud, lady. That was it. That was the conversation. Huh? Okay. I just thought there had been more to it. She just went, cussed them out, and then just left it at that. Okay. Dang, I'm like, lady, cut down on the, the smoking. No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. Well, well, who do I spy but V in my humble heart? Wait, those are her... Those are her... Those are tattoos. Oh, that's crazy. I thought she was just wearing some, like, colorful pants. And your charming friend. That's all she got on? Just a... Alright. Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san. Oai dekite kohei desu. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, shame only. That he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Eddie's is why. Always about Eddie's, Wakako. You want to make them? We got biz. Doesn't get any simpler. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japan Town. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Our socket, tiger claws, kind of like the family dog screwing the cat, huh? Can't possibly be fond of the people who killed your grandkid. That was very long ago. Time's the best healer. Is she just tall or like? That, though. Oh, everything's on the shots. Why? Well, I mean, to skip How ahead. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly, my gift. What's that? Hi, Chu. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expected to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. 
Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Oh, wrong button. Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. You leaving? Okay. We have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, B. The heck is that noise? My dang man, be quiet. They'll leave you a dermal imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A tiger claw specialty. I can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before that time. Terrible family tragedy. You're not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. Willing to bet nobody knows Westbrook like you do. My husbands knew Westbrook. Yes. Each of them. Very high in the tiger claws. Ruled Japantown. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pull, sold sex, and black market tech. Okay. That's all I need to know. A delightful, mature woman. This information, uh -huh. it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Turn the rogue with fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand. I swear, man, people broke in this game. My car. Right? Ain't no sense be out here. Give out that much money. And for what? My fault. I was even supposed to. Okay, no, no. I was supposed to go this way. Thinking about it. I was like, I could have just ran over there, but I was like, nah. But you gotta cross across some bridge like this, that they ain't running distance. It's nice looking though. Okay, so we just gonna act like we ain't see all that.
Got the scratch. Out the way, man. Got the cred for the helmet job. Fine. Anders Why her eyes just turn like that? Two, please. Two. Make some room. <laughs> Sit down. I guess I'm not I you found him. Really like sitting in between people, Don't see but that often. determination like yours must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Bottle stays. Man, you could just say, hey, can you please leave the bottle? Go ahead. Enjoy. Alright, I guess. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Let's see what you got. I wiped that on my pants leg. I'm like, I'm gonna put a chip that you just put in your head in my head. Officially, anyway. But he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Probably keeping him hidden from Arasaka. He must have worked on a top secret project. Mm hmm. Hidden from Arasaka or any other megacorp that wants what he knows. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Helmet. That was the good news. There it is. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look. Their backup hustle will be on us. But right here's Jackson Plain. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. Dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. So a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her and not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Navin Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Why's Pan Am got to help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She run into a hitch? Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. This person keeps staring at me. Dignity. They're all being weird. I, I don't like this. Hey, I don't like this crowd. I can try to help her. But if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. Fine. Let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Oh, finally. All clear. Thanks. Let's get out of here. Good luck. All these chairs and he just sits. That's weird. Got somewhere else. Oh, I, I 
again. So I got to Pan Am? V here. V who? V where? How did you even get this number? From Rogue. Oh, uh, great. Fuck. Where's that old war horse want to kick me now? Forget Rogue for a minute. I want to help you. Oh, very kind. But it's far too little, far too late. So do tell Rogue she can eat my shorts. Tell it to your therapist. <laughs> Calling about your ride and the merch you lost. Interested? Or are you gonna tell me to eat your shorts too? The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. No, there's all like the one girl she called was all like I she she needed my help or she needs to meet up somewhere. It's my car at, bro. That's some crazy stuff. That is something, bro. I, I don't know if any car just teleport. Dang, right when I... Okay. It's my turn.
Does she want me to like? Bird officer suck to express her undying gratitude to you for Stop saying. talking. I was, I was only gone an hour. Checked her pulse. She's gone. Got to do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Wasn't that the girl that we had saved? Can carry her to the bed. As if that'll change anything. Where all this blood come from? Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. Oh, that was the North girl. Side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Dang. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. Fuck you. You don't want to move your asses. Why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine. I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. Some crazy stuff. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? All things considered, you let them off pretty light. Had it been me, they'd have gotten an earful like nobody's biz. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Did you wait outside? Close the door, B. Please. I don't... Okay. I was about to say, I was like, I don't know how to close doors in this game, but I'll, I'll do what I can. <sighs> Bummer, Sig. I see. You know you smoke. Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. That's a strange looking cigarette. A 3D printing cig? Gave her some t space and time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. Know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? Okay. Her condition I, hasn't been past the minute, but Death okay. Was she was clean. Doll shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her. And had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. I zeroed Woodman. Didn't plan on it. Just how the chips landed. Glad I did, though. 
how you gonna do like take one puff and then I, I you know I ain't wrong. Even imagine. Still, it's not enough. There's so many more like him. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. I leave this place. All right. Man, just emerged from nothing. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and call it with this stream. Uh, let's go ahead. Exit out and find somebody to raid if somebody is online to raid. I guess I'll call it with this stream. All right, so, anyways, until next time, I will talk to y'all later. Thank everybody that stopped by tonight's stream. Stay tuned for the next stream and peace.